In this class we're going to talk about inoculation and in order to do that, banish the scruples fermented by ignorance, wipe it up or wipe it away from the wounds with the cloth and another form of intervention, inoculation, inoculation, inoculation. This is Inoculated Radio, the place of original music, poetry, and storytelling. I'm your host, First Train, and now Skyping in from the UK is Tony Haven, as well as Kita Bennett, and they have an EP together entitled B-Sides and C-Sides. And um, Tony, that kind of sounds like an EP that will be of your unreleased material. It is, as well. Oh. Uh, I'm doing, uh, well, the original idea I had was to do uh, a B-Sides EP with just three or four songs that didn't make it on the album. And then we thought about writing uh, a couple with Keita and putting them on and making it into a collaboration as well. If it goes well, then we might do a, a full album. So how much convincing did it take, um, Tony, to convince Keita to do a project with you? Uh, about <laughs> about six years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then there was like, of course, on Kita's side a lot of like, oh, I don't think so, oh, I don't want to bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that, but it's worked out well in the end. We were both at the the right sort of stage of, um, you know, experience and um, sort of a comfort zone of, like, we've known each other a long time, so we just sit there and write, and there's just no, um, I don't know, it just goes really smoothly, yeah. doesn't it? It does go really smoothly. So, Kita, when you first worked with Tony, how does the chemistry work in the studio? How do you feel from your end it works out for you? Um, well, because I've known him for so long, it just doesn't, we just have a bit of a laugh, don't we? <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool because I'm not actually too embarrassed to kind of sing in front of him anymore. I used to be really, really bad and I, <laughs> I used to want to hide away, but now I'm not too bad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in Kita, um, since you're a singer, um, what's, what's, what styles of music do you like listening to Like um, when you just want to be able to get into the mode of music? Like, what do you usually listen to? Um, I listen to um, Lauren Hill, and like I quite like a female artist, like, like Christina Aguilera and people like that. Um, but yeah, I, just, I listen to all sorts of music, though. I listen to acoustic as well, so I really love. So yeah, just for a bit of everything, to be honest. Jazz comes through as well. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of time. Jazz, yeah. 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 I think jazz influence comes through mm-hmm. as well in the harmonies and things. I kind of know where she can come from from a harmony point of view with the jazz, so it gives um, me a bit more uh, something to work with as well, which is quite cool. Tony, usually when you make your tunes, do you gather like any inspiration, or is it mostly you just hear a melody in your head and you just want to put it towards the guitar? Yeah, it's pretty much all in my head. I try and not be influenced by anything at the moment. Um, Apart, well, not nothing musical anyway. I get influenced by real things, um, like you know the beach and uh, the city is and traveling and things like that. I try and influence as a, as, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, just a wide range of things other than music. Oh, really? That's kind of interesting. So you just go by the sounds that you hear around your surroundings? Yeah, um, just write. I, I write a lot in the streets when I'm out busking. I write at, in my sound check. Um, I don't write a lot in the studio. Um, myself I write try and write out with people um, improvising and things like that and it just comes out of my mind as it's, as it's going. Going back to you Keita when you write your songs where does your inspiration come from? Um, yeah um, oh gosh I don't know to be honest <laughs> like Tony will say oh Keita okay, you've got to come over in an hour and I'll be like all right then I've got to quickly <laughs> I just think of something off the top of my head I'll just think of like a phrase or something and I'll be like oh, okay so I try to make them into the stories if I can yeah, I don't know where I get that from, to be honest. I <laughs> don't know. This comes out of uh, almost stress. Yeah, <laughs> having probably. to write yeah. something. Yeah, pressure. You know? It comes pressure. out of pressure, definitely. Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, what did you feel the first time you heard Kita sing? Um, I can't remember the first time I heard her sing. Uh, I don't know how long ago that was. Um, um we kind of met. Um, we met out of music. Um, out away from music. We met just um just in a bar with mates and stuff. We live in the same town. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we didn't really talk music for about a year. I don't even know if I knew she was a musician at that point. Um, and I was in a metal band, so it was a different, 
thing, you know, as a whole, we, it just never came up. Uh, <laughs> but then when I took up acoustic, I think that's when um, we thought, I think I heard you at an open mic night. I think we went to an open mic or something like that. And um, yeah, I always knew um, it'd be easy to work with. That's the main thing with me. That has to be the first thing. It has to be someone you can work with. Um, and obviously she's a really good singer as well. So it's it's just a win-win situation really from that point of view. So how about for you, Keita? How did you feel the first time you heard Tony's performing? Um, well, I heard his metal stuff first, didn't I? And that was like, <laughs> I thought it was pretty awesome. And then when I heard his um, laugh, I was like, oh, that's pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, it's just, he's just amazing to work with, really. Lovely guy as well. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> There's not anything else you need to tell me, right, Keita? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. no, we pretty much uh, we hate each other. Yeah, we, we hate each other yeah. really. <laughs> so people, if you want to download Tony Haven's project B sides and C sides, what's the link? Um well if you go on uh, Facebook and just type my name in, um you go on my fan page, Tony Haven Music. Um I'm gonna keep that updated with this project um and maybe start another page at some point. Um, but it will be on iTunes and Amazon. The two songs are on YouTube as well at the moment and SoundCloud. I don't know if you use SoundCloud a lot in America, but it seems to be quite popular over here at the moment. And um, we've got all the songs up there at the moment. If you search my name in SoundCloud, you'll find our projects on there. So hope everyone's enjoying it, man. So, guys, I would like to thank you for coming on to Inoculated Radio and doing this little conversation and inoculating our audience with the great music as well as, you know, just being people that just love to do stuff that's original. Thank you very much, man. Thank you.